Today I'm going to be going over the Toshiba Satellite C55DT C5245 laptop. This is a new Windows 10 laptop, so it's the best of Windows 7 and Windows 8 combined. It's a really good operating system, a lot of people are liking it. In order to get the best price on this specific model, I provided a special link in the description below. And you can also see what other people are saying about it, so be sure to check that out. So the processor on this laptop is not that great. It's good for entry level uses like word processing, basic web browsing, email and stuff like that. It's good for school. Uh, most basic applications run fine. However, if you need to do anything that's a little bit high demand, um, it's, it's just an entry level processor and it might not be good enough. It has six gigabytes of RAM, so it's pretty decent for multitasking. You can run quite a few applications at the same time without any slowdowns. So it's pretty much covered on RAM for an entry level computer. It has one terabyte storage, so there's plenty of storage for media and larger files. You probably won't need much more storage than this. The display is a 15.6 inch touchscreen display. Uh, so it's a really intuitive navigation. You have the option of using touch screen or using the mouse or touchpad. The navigation on this thing is really good. It has a basic resolution, 720p. So it's not the best resolution, but it's also not terrible. The portability of this laptop is fairly average. It has an average weight of 4.8 pounds. This is actually slightly lighter than most laptops with the screen size. It's also fairly thin at under one inch, 0.93 inches. And the battery life is good at five hours. So you can go quite a bit of time without needing to charge it up. It has pretty much all the basic features covered. It has one USB 3.0 port for plugging in a USB 3.0 external drive and getting faster data transfer speeds. It has two USB 2.0 ports. So you're pretty much covered if you want to add extra USB devices. It has Bluetooth so you can connect wireless speakers and wireless headsets. It has HDMI, so you can connect this thing to a larger display. Uh, this is good for school, presentations, business, and watching things like Netflix and YouTube videos. It has a DVD drive too, so not a lot of people are using these anymore, but it has it just in case you're still using DVD drives. It also has an HD webcam, so you'll have high quality video for Skyping with friends and family. In conclusion, this is a pretty basic entry level laptop. One of the most notable features is the touchscreen feature, so that's why you're paying a little bit extra than laptops with this kind of performance. Um, the processor isn't that great, but it gets the job done for basic applications. In order to get the best price on this specific model, I provided a special link in the description below, and you can also see what other people are saying about it, so be sure to check that out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.